So now we're going to register the product and we're going to install and activate all our free software that comes with it. So I'm opening Google Chrome here. You might be using other browsers, but I'm going to use Chrome. And I'm going to go to novationmusic.com. Now that I'm on the website, I'm going to click on register product. And here there's a drop down menu. So I'm going to select the product that I'm using, which in this case is a Launchpad Mini. You might be using a Launchpad or a Launch Key Mini. Make sure you select the correct product. So now we need to enter the serial number. As per the last video, the serial number is located on the back of the box, on the back of the user guide, and on a sticker on the back of the unit. So enter this serial number now. Once you're done, enter your email address. Now click on Get My Stuff. So here we don't have an account, so we're going to create one. So I'm going to enter my first name, last name, a suitable password, like so. Enter the country. And I'm going to type in this code. Now state where you first heard about Novation. And now we need to enter the bundle code. The bundle code, as explained in the video before, is on the back of the booklet, here. So we need to enter this now. Make sure you don't put the serial number into this field. This is for the bundle code only. Enter the date of purchase, where the product was purchased from, and select where you first heard about the product that you've just registered. Now click on Submit. So now you'll see the product is in your account. The serial number is here, and the bundle code is here. If you click on the Downloads and Activation Codes tab here, you'll see all your bundled software information. So the Base Station plugin, Loop Master's content, and your door, Ableton Live Lite. The Novation USB drivers for Mac and PC are here. But first, we're gonna install the Novation Base Station. So click on the download link here, and you'll see the PC version or the Mac version. I'm on a Mac, so I'm gonna click the Mac version. Then go back to my account, and download the Loop Masters content. Now I'm going to download Ableton Live Lite. This takes me to the Ableton website where I click on this link here. This might take some time, so feel free to pause the video and resume when you're ready. When your installers are ready, click on basestation.dmg. I'm going to minimize this window and you'll see the .pkg file here. So double click this and run the installer. Click on continue, continue again, and agree. Now click on install. Enter your password. And the installation was successful for the base station plugin. Now go back to your account and click on Loopmasters Excite Pack. I'm going to save this in a specific location. So I'm going to minimize these windows and when the pack is unzipped, I'm going to open a finder window. And I'm going to drag the Excite Pack into music here. I'm also going to right click, select new folder and label this samples. Then I'm going to drag the Loopmasters pack into my samples folder. 
This way, if I add any more packs of samples, I can put them in the same place. You can preview the sounds simply by clicking on them and hitting the spacebar. Now I'm going to go back to my account. And I'm going to click on the Ableton Live Light installer. Click on Agree. Wait for the installer to open. Minimize your window and click and drag the live icon into the applications folder like so. This could take some time, so feel free to pause the video again and resume when you're ready. So I'm ready now. I'm gonna open a finder window and I'm gonna select applications and Ableton Live 9 Lite. Double click on this to run the application. Select open. And when the splash screen loads, we need to click on the icon which says authorize with Ableton.com. So now you need to log in if you have an account or create an account here. I've got an account, so I'm going to log in. Again, if you don't have an account, create one in the new customer section to the right. Click on login and you'll be prompted to enter the serial number. There are two ways of authorizing the software depending on the product that you're registering. In this instance, for the Launchpad Mini, the Ableton Live Lite code is on the card in the box, here. But, if you've registered a different product, you might find there isn't a card in the box, in which case, the code will appear in your Downloads and Activation Code section next to Ableton Live Lite, here. So you can simply highlight this, copy it and paste it into the field. I'm going to enter it manually from my card. When you're done, click on Register Serial. And this will authorize the software so you're ready to go. Now Live will set up the core library and load a demo session. I'm gonna create a new live set by going to File, New Live Set. I'm gonna maximize this window. And now I'm gonna to go to Live, Preferences, Files and Folders tab, and I'm going to set a VST plugin custom folder so that we can look for the base station plugin that we've just installed. So click on this button, and we need to go to the Audio Plugins VST path. So as you can see, it's Library Audio Plugins VST. To find this in a Finder window, click on Macintosh HD. Library, Audio, Plugins, VST. And you'll see the Base Station and Base Station Stereo VSTs there. So now, if I click on Plugins, the Base Station Plugins should appear because we've set the plugin path. So drag it onto a MIDI clip. Now we can run the plugin in demo mode, buy a version, but we've got a version so we need to activate it. So click on this link here. Now in the eStore, we need to give our details. First name, last name, email address. Email address we entered. Company. Select your operating system, in this case Mac OS X country of residence and click into the activation code field here. Now we need to go back to our account 
and highlight the Novation Base Station code here. Right click and select Copy. Go back to the eStore. Right click and select Paste. Submit this and a license file will be emailed to you and it will automatically download as you can see on the left. So I'm going to remember that this license file is in my downloads folder and now I need to go back to live and click on install license. Navigate to my downloads folder and find bstation.fnlf. Select it, enter your password, once more, and the plugin is activated. I'm going to use a custom mapping. So now Ableton Live Lite and the base station are activated. Next video, making music.